Hi, it's me again, back in time for another story just for fun. This book I want to share with you today is called The Butterfly. And this book is written by Anna Milborn and Kathy Shimon. And look at that butterfly's wings. When he closes his wings up, are his wings the same on both sides? They are. His wings are what's called symmetrical. Some of you used to make patterns with at school with pattern blocks, and you would make one side look one way, and then the other side of it would look exactly the same way. You were making a symmetrical pattern, just like this butterfly's wings. The Butterfly. The Butterfly by Anna Milborn and illustrated by Kathy Shimon. At the end of the garden, there's a little stripy caterpillar. What do you think it's been doing all day? First, it ate up the leaf it was sitting on. And then when that was gone, it started munching on the next one. There are lots of other hungry caterpillars too. There's a teeny tiny green one. There's a chubby yellow one. There's a soft white hairy one and a big fat fuzzy one. And all of them are eating as fast as they can chew. The little stripy caterpillar is not so little now but still it keeps on eating. Munch, munch, munch. Soon it's even too fat for its own skin. So it shrugs it off like it's just an old coat. And then it eats some more. One day the caterpillar stops eating. Perhaps it's full. It curls up under a leaf and falls fast asleep. Slowly, its skin becomes a shiny case. It hangs there quietly, not moving at all for a very long time. I think this is just so cool about nature. All at once, it starts to wiggle. It wriggles and wriggles until the case splits open and, and it inches its way out. The stripy caterpillar has become a beautiful butterfly. It stretches out its bright new wings in the warm sunshine. Can you see its tongue or its proboscis? It's kind of cool. Then it flutters up into the wide blue sky. All kinds of pretty butterflies are flitting around the garden. There's a lacy white one, two speckled blue ones, and one with circles on its wings. The butterfly flutters from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar from every one. At night, it folds its dainty wings and settles down to sleep. When it's time, the butterfly carefully lays some eggs. Each one is like a tiny pearl. And notice they're on the bottom part of the leaf. Why do you think they do that? A few days later, a little stripy caterpillar pops out of each egg. They are all very, very hungry. Can you guess what happens next? Munch, munch, munch. That book wasn't nonfiction, but it did show you the life cycle of a butterfly. It hatches from the egg, caterpillar, caterpillar eats, gets inside the chrysalis, comes out as a butterfly, which lays an egg, which becomes it hatches to a caterpillar, just keeps going around and around. The life cycle of a butterfly.
see perhaps if maybe you can find butterflies outside today. We'll talk to you later.